Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and in today's video, I'm going to be making a custom challenge coin. Let's get into it. I recently got my Galva laser back and wanted to try my hand at engraving a coin. I've seen a lot of these all over the place. Some of them have depth, some of them have some texture to them. This one I'm gonna do pretty simple. I want to just engrave the coin with a nice bold look. These are ones that I got from Amazon. They do have a gold look. I'll put a link in the description to the ones that I'm using. I did have to sacrifice a coin to figure out the settings through a test that I do. The first time that I tried to engrave it using an existing metal engraving that would give me more of a dark look, it didn't actually work out that way. If you look at this example, you'll see that it is on there but it took multiple passes to get it to be even that dark and it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. And I really have to hit the light just right in order for it to show up. So what I did is I took the back of the same coin and I ran an engraving test where I had speed and power varied in the X and Y directions and ended up coming up with some results that I thought were pretty cool. You'll see on this test grid that there's some that are extremely light, they don't even show up. There's some that were a little dark, but not a lot of depth. There was some that were more white or reddish from the coating being engraved off. And then there were some that were quite a bit darker. So then I just put in what the speeds and powers were with a Sharpie on the sides. And I'm keeping this coin to the side so that I can go back to it and refer to it in the future if I want to get one of these other types of looks. Make sure that if you are testing some material that you keep those to the side so you can reference them in the future and then you won't have to sacrifice another coin down the road. Now that I've got the settings figured out for what I wanna do, I'm gonna jump over to the computer. I will show you the settings that I'm using and then we'll watch it engrave on a brand new coin. My wife is a huge fan of the Goonies, so I decided to use a design that is inspired by the Goonies. We've been to Astoria where they shot the movie and she has loved it ever since even more. So what I'm gonna do is make her a little stocking stuffer for Christmas where I'm going to engrave a coin that makes it feel like one of the you know pirate medallions, pieces of gold type of thing. But I wanna use the Goonies design on top of that. So what we're gonna do is just take this logo that I've already put in. I'm going to send it over to the laser. You'll see in my design that I have a red circle and the black engraving. The red circle is intended to represent the coin itself so that I can align it once it's in the machine. I haven't built a jig for this. I'm just going to do it with the camera because it will just be quicker. The machine's booting up now, but let me go ahead and walk you through the settings. For the black part that I want to engrave, I'm going to import a setting that I call this Amazon Gold Challenge Coin because that is where I bought it from. I'm going to import that. And you'll see that for this coin, I'm going to be using a speed of 50%, a power of 90%, a frequency of 10.5, a wave of four, and a spacing of 0 0.0001. So now that the camera is showing, I'm gonna go ahead and take the coin, put it in the laser, and we will get it all lined up. The coin is in the machine, so I'm going to take this and just drag it down until that red border aligns with the coin itself in the picture get it pretty close and that should be good enough i'm going to turn off the red line so this is about what it'll look like when it's done i think it's going to look pretty good so we're going to go ahead and print it over to the machine and we'll engrave it and i'll show you what it looks like in the end
here is the final result. So the light kind of has to hit it right because of the camera, but you can see it has the design engraved. It has a nice dark contrast against the kind of goldish brass color. And overall, I really like how it turned out. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. If there are other videos that you'd like to see on either CO2 or fiber, put those in the comments below and I will do my best to make videos for that kind of content. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share things along the way. But I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.